Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin and I will facilitate today's nerve flossing practice. In the next 13 minutes, we'll focus on nerve flossing for sciatica. You'll also experience some stretches for the hips, hamstrings, all the way down to your feet. So please join me in a table top, hands and knees. Extend your right leg long behind you and start to shift the weight back and forward. All the way back, press through the center of your heel and then shift forward onto the very top of your right foot. Do that a few times, smooth and steady. Right heel firm back and then switch it out. Right knee return, extend your left leg long. No ego, no expectation as you press the weight back into your left heel and shift the weight forward into the top of your left foot, awakening through your arch, your ankle, calf, and hamstrings. Table top. And then make your way all the way down to your back body. As you lie down on the floor, set your legs in bound angles, soles of feet together, knees wide. Place your palms lightly on your belly and let's take a few deep breaths to center and ground. Nostrils to navel, big breath in. Little pause with mild tension at the top and open mouth exhale, let it go. Again, deep breath in, feel your hands rise, your belly lift. And open mouth, exhale, let it out. Hug your right knee to your chest, let your left leg go long. Interlace your fingers on right hamstrings and start to straighten and re-bend the right knee. So this is specifically for your sciatic nerve. Your nerves respond much different than the hamstrings or your muscles. So you want to find some dynamic movement instead of holding static or still. Straighten through the right leg and re-bend. Please keep your right foot flexed. You may find through this action your right quadricep begins to fatigue. So if at any point you need rest, please honor what comes up. Take a few breaths and rest and then join us. Return. Keep your right leg straight. Extend it up towards your ceiling and then point and flex through your right toes. Start to navigate sensation through right ankle, right calf muscle, and your right shin as you point and flex. Turn that into ankle rotations. Whichever direction you start with on the right ankle, maintain it. Three, two, one. Now switch direction of your right ankle rotations. Keep your right leg straight. Return to that bend and extend that we started with. Just a few more cycles, bend and extend. See if you can find a little more range in motion when you straighten through the right leg and then hug your right heel towards your right glute muscle. Figure four on the right, cross your right ankle over left thigh, interlace fingers on left hamstrings. When you inhale, you'll press the legs away. It's a subtle action. On your exhale, hug the legs in closer to the chest. Inhale, the legs press away, belly expand. Exhale, hug the legs in towards the chest. And working with the breath, navigating dynamic movement instead of these still or static holds. Please soften your tongue and relax your eyes. The inhale, legs press away, and the exhale, you hug that figure four shape into the torso. And the next time you hug the legs in, keep that hug, keep that tight squeeze. Relax your shoulders down into the mat or into the floor. Cross your right thigh and right knee over your left. This is reclined cow face pose. Grab what you can, your shins, ankles, or heels. And then like a snow angel action, you'll lift your feet up, toes towards one another, rebend your knees, and draw your heels towards your outer hips. Your feet lift up, toes towards one another, and your knees rebend, heels towards your outer hips. Keep your right knee crossed on top of your left as you lift the feet and lower the heels. Press your outer right hip forward. Keep your low back heavy into your mat. And then draw your heels up towards your face. Pull your feet or your shins up towards your face. Eagle leg twist. Cross your right thigh over your left. Maybe right foot crosses behind your left ankle. Keep your left foot on the floor and drop your bent knees over to the left. Now you lift your bent knees and then lower your knees over to the left. Lift and lower. 
Whichever way your knees fall, gaze in the opposite direction. In this case, gaze is to the right, knees to the left. Do that a few more times. You lift and lower the legs. You lift and lower the gaze. Massaging through outer right hip, deeply compressing inner thighs. You can get a nice release to the low back. Next time you enter the spinal twist, hold and breathe. Knees to the left, gaze to the right. Slow to unwind, come back to center, and adopt the pose of Shavasana. The purpose of this posture is twofold. One, this way you can observe effectively. Notice any changes, subtle or grand in the physical body. Two, you hold safe, still space for the integration, the absorption of that first side. Hug your left knee towards your chest. Interlace fingers on left hamstrings, and we'll start that whole series on the left. Straighten through the left leg, kick your heel up, and then rebend through your left knee. Hug it in towards your chest and your shoulder. Slow or as fast as feels right for you. Naturally, the hands are engaged, but try not to white knuckle or death grip. You want the energy to move, the prana to travel. Keep your head heavy, your neck soft. Bend and extend. Bend and extend. Soften any tension held in your eyebrows. The next time your left leg is straight, hold it that way. Point and flex your left toes. Articulate the action from heel to pads of your left foot all the way to the toe prints. Flex and point. Rotate your left ankle. Stick with that same direction you start with. And then switch it out. Acknowledge your range in motion. And then return, bend, and extend. When you straighten your left leg, please flex your left foot. Really drive out through the heel. And when you re-bend your knee, hug it in sweetly to the chest, to the shoulder area. Figure four on the left. Cross left ankle over right thigh. Interlace fingers on right hamstrings. Remember what you know. On your inhale, the legs press away, arms relatively straight. And on your exhale, you hug the legs in closer to the torso. Maximize this action with quality breath deep to the belly and broad to your grounded low back. Inhale away. And exhale, you hug in close. Relax through your right toes as you flex through your left foot. The next time you hug that figure four in towards your body, hold and breathe. Feel the length in the back of your neck. Reclined cow face legs. Cross your left knee and left thigh over your right. Grab what you can, ankles, maybe the outer heels, and maybe on this side, you release your arms to the ground. You lift the legs and flex your feet towards one another. You lower the heels and draw them close to your outer hips. If it's helpful to you, imagine a snow angel action, the way the feet rise and fall. Lift the feet towards one another and lower the heels towards your outer hips. So be mindful of the appropriate range. Nothing is meant to feel jarring or jamming. Nothing is meant to feel rushed. Let it inspire sensation as you find the middle and then pull your feet or shins up closer to your shoulders and face. Eagle leg twist. Cross your left thigh, left knee over your right. Maybe left ankle under your right. Drop your bound legs to the right and look to the left. You'll repeat this action a few times. Lift the legs, lift the head through the middle. And then drop your eagle legs to the right, gaze to the left. Inhale through center. Exhale, eagle leg twist. Massaging through outer hip. Inhale, legs up, head up. Exhale, eagle twist. Smooth and steady. And that's regarding the breath and the movements.
The next time your knees are down, hold them there as you look to the left. Take a few breaths a little wider into your left ribs. Unwind, release from your twist. And adopt the pose of Shavasana. Legs long, arms long. You can windshield wiper the feet. Re-extend your legs and remember your reason for being here. Observe. Hold space for integration. Hug left knee to chest. Hug your right knee up to meet it. Rock and roll the length of your spine. Come all the way up to standing. Malasana, garland pose. Toes are out. Heels are in. Deep bend in your knees. You can keep your hands down, fingertips or palms. Lift your hips, straighten your legs. Rebend your knees and drop your buttocks super low. Straighten the legs, hips up. Rebend your knees. You come in and out of this low squat, working with hip mobility, stretching through the low back, as well as ankle mobility. Hips up and hips lower. Your thighs may begin to fatigue, so if you need rest, please give yourself that option. Standing forward, bend, toes forward, then tabletop, come to all fours, hands and knees. Tuck your toes under. Take a seat on your heels, walk your hands closer to knees. If it's safe for you, broken toe, take a seat directly on your heels, shoulders over your hips. Hands can rest on your thighs, palms open, heart open. Set your gaze or close your eyes and take a few deep breaths in through the nose and open mouth exhale. Cleanse and clear consciously with the breath. You can remain in broken toe pose to close this practice. Otherwise, join me in a comfortable seat. Ankles cross. Join your hands together, thumbs to sternum. Together we breathe in. And together we breathe out. Please close your eyes. Draw greater attention inward towards your heart. May all beings be happy. May all beings be healthy. May all beings be safe. May all beings know peace. May all beings find their freedom. May all beings move through the world with ease. And my hope for you is that your practice, your healing is continuous, your heart steady, and of benefit to all beings. Take a breath in and let a breath out. That will conclude our nerve flossing practice. I do hope that you feel a little more free from feet, through hips and hamstrings, even into the low back. Be kind to yourself, be kind to others, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.